After two months shutdown, Suncor Refinery in Commerce City is getting back to full operation. And while it's probably not welcome news for people who live in that neighborhood, Denver 7's Jessica Porter found the reopening will help stabilize our rising gas prices. Jess? And Shannon, normally in the winter, we would be cruising on the lowest gas prices of the year, but prices are sitting at a high of $4 a gallon in Colorado, well above the national average of $3.39 a gallon. And that's all attributed to Suncor's closure. Troubles at the Commerce City refinery have persisted for years, but a deep freeze in December tanked operations. Then days later, several fires injured two workers. Meanwhile, the refinery spewed pollutants into the air air and released benzene into Sand Creek above allowances. Now the state is still investigating those violations. Now Suncor says equipment has been replaced, inspected, and they're ready to fully restart, which will take several days for equipment to heat up and run at full capacity. Gas prices have skyrocketed 51% since the shutdown because Suncor produces 40% of Colorado's gasoline. Now, unfortunately, AAA doesn't expect gas prices to fall too much from where we are now. When Suncor opens back up, I would not anticipate or budget that prices are going to fall off a cliff. Um, we're entering the time of year when we have upward pressure on gas prices globally, upward pressure on gas prices nationally. It's the time of year when we switch over to summer blend, which is generally more expensive for motorists. Now, although the timing of this shutdown couldn't have been worse for prices, McKinley says it's a good sign that Suncor continues to invest in the Commerce City refinery because we will continue to enjoy gas prices below the national average for years to come. Now, Suncor warns as they roll into this progressive restart, residents could see increased flaring, noise and traffic. They expect to be fully operational again by the end of this month. Reporting live in the studio, Jessica Porter, Denver 7.